I'm in this weird place where I've hit this spot professionally where, um, you know, it's like, what is next, bro? Because I feel like I walk off every stage leaving my audience thinking, okay, great, relationships over transactions, you close 100 deals, you're a free coach, you, closings happen every day, you know, we get it, you know, but what now, you know, what do we do to take that and make our dreams come true, right? And what's the next chapter in your story, Ricky? And I feel like it's like this movie that's playing um, that everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen next. You know, now it's my move. That's kind of where I'm at. Like I got into coaching because I was bored with real estate. Now I'm getting to the point where like every day feels like I'm coaching calls. I'm doing Zooms. I'm doing podcasts. I'm going listing appointments. I'm closing deals. I go to sleep and do the same shit every day. And I love it. Like I'm in it, like I love it. I'm helping people, helping agents, helping clients. But at the same time, I'm right back where I was back in 2017 when I wrote those two books. And I'm thinking, what is next, man? You know, I feel like I've climbed this mountain and um, you know, that's just how I am. Um, you know, and honestly, I probably beat this dead horse long enough. Um, you know, same thing. Like I waited till I had 30 active listings before I hired an assistant. You know, I waited till I closed a hundred deals a year for three years before writing a book or thinking I even had the audacity to tell somebody else how to do something. Um, you know, so I'm kind of, that's my MO and I hide behind that MO because, you know, like I'm realizing now that that MO is a place of, um, like complacency, right. That I'm like, you know, I get to a place and now I feel complacent. Now I'm like leaning back and kind of riding out the platform that I built, riding out the business that I built. And I feel like I'm not growing, um, like personal, like personal development. I'm dead serious about the fact that I'm in a role that I've never been in. And it's a role of leadership that I've never had to, um, I've never had to be. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't taken it serious to the level that I need to in regards to my responsibility to the industry, you know? And, uh, and so you're catching me at, at a moment, you know what I mean? Uh, during this, this discord where, you know, I'm in deep thought about all this, you know, and that there's something deeper there. And, uh, when I unleash wh wherever this is going, it's, it's going to be massive, right? So I'm, I'm on some deeper stuff right now, you know, cause like I'm developing into a new person, um, every day with these new roles that I'm <clears throat> partaking in, you know, dude, this, like I said, man, this is just serious stuff, man. These are, this is, this is industry. This is, this is legacy stuff. This is, you know, um, generational. This is, you know, this is not, you know, nothing to be taken lightly. And I feel like honestly, I've taken stuff a little lightly, and I'm just kind of like on, like, I don't have like a five year goal. Like I just work as hard as I can work knowing that great things are going to happen. You know, that's how I've always operated because I couldn't tell you five years ago that I was going to be where I'm going to be right now. You know, there's no way I could have predicted like as far as I've come, there's no way. So five years ago, if I'd have made this goal to be where I am now, I would have laughed at you. Right. And so for me to say where I'm going to be in five years, that, dude, there's no telling where I'm going to be in five years. I can't even make that bet. Um, but my thing is I've always been a gut player, like go, like go with my gut, wherever I say, wherever I feel, you know, and it's time to grow out of that for me. You know, a lot of people say, well, dude, look where you are. You got it made. You this, you that, you the other. And I think, yeah, and that's awesome. And I'm, I'm so grateful for every little thing that's, that's happened and all the work that I put into making it happen. But you guys got to understand, man, that, that 10 years is going to go by and a snap of a finger and you're not even going to be able to nut, like, and you can't go back. And so when I look at the next 10 years and I think about 50 years old, and I think about looking back at 50 and realizing that, that I missed out on opportunity that I could have really shook up the industry and really made a dent and really made a difference. And I dropped the ball because I just kept telling my same story 
that always ended the same way, right? <clears throat> and 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 and, and preach that you know this this screaming at people, just do it, push through it. That's awesome. Okay, but it's played out. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Tony Robbins. I'm talking about all those motivational speakers. When he came out, this stuff wasn't around and it went big. And now you've got the spinoff of all the other guys that that are, you know, making a name for themselves in that same parameter. And I want to take it i just want to go to another level higher than those higher than and it's not even about like oh me ricky and put me on a pedestal i'm trying to figure out how i can get what my next chapter is in order to connect the dots for how you guys can use my story to to fulfill your dreams right i want to make it about you i want to make it about my audience i want to make it about them not about look at ricky i want to make it about look at you you know, and so that that's the next level for me. You know, it's been about I sell 100 properties. I do this. I do that. I'm a free coach, you know, for so long. And it's great because I built this incredible platform. But it's time to take this to another level. And the next level is how can I use this and my next chapter to really enrich the industry and other agents to, to say, oh, well, look at Ricky, look at the pain he went through for us to get here, to tell us what not to do. If he can do it, I can do it. You know, I just feel so responsible when I see so much garbage happening in the coaching space, um, you know, and I, I just feel like, you know, Superman trying to swoop in and combat you know, what's happening out there. It's the wild, wild west, you know?